Hello guys, Spartacus Airsoft, and today we will have another review for you. This is a review of the G&G &G Mod 5 blowback with integrated laser grip. Okay, so the base gun is just, it, it's pretty much, it's the G&G &G Mod 5 blowback. So, the only thing that's different about this one is it has a built-in pressure plate, um, laser light, laser it's the laser is made by GMP, so it's very high quality, and it's it's a nice gun. The pressure plate works well. Um, so yeah. Um, note about the laser though, it it doesn't really it doesn't really work that good. Um, the laser itself is really high quality. It's great, but I just cannot get it to the point where it aligns with my sights, and I, I see no practical really use for it besides scare tactics. So I just ordered a um, GMP. Uh, it's the same thing basically, except this is a flashlight because there's a lot of dark areas in my CQB field, and I figured that would be a little more useful than, uh, you know, a laser that doesn't really work. So um, on to the actual gun. Like I said, the gun is a base model. The gun is a GMP Mod 5 blowback. So. It has this orange cap here, which is glued on, but it is threaded, so you can attach a suppressor on there. It will look boss, but it, yeah, you're going to have to heat that and get it off. Um, your front sight is polymer. The, this main gun is polymer plastic. Well, your front sight is metal, I mean. Oh, my apologies. And then here, your um, barrel assembly is metal. The outer barrel here is plastic. And you have your charging handle on the other side. And uh, you have your attack light. And your grip, I mean. All you have to do is this little pin here. You just press it out from the other side. And um, pops right off so you can switch it nice and quick. Um, here is, this is the blowback model. So this is the part that will come back. That little caliber, that little shell eject there. And you can lock the charging handle in place just like the real MP5. I really do enjoy that makes hop up adjustment very easy and the hop on this gun works amazing um i have mine set to right there it's just this little bar you press it in for more and out for less and i just got it at the perfect position um within seconds and it really does work great and it's very very easy to um very very easy to uh adjust and the charging handle is very sturdy although i do uh, I, I try to treat it gently, even though it's sturdy. That's something you just do not want to have break, no matter the quality of your gun. And as you can see, it has no picanti rails anywhere on the gun, but you can get a claw mount and mount some optics on there. So, Although I always personally prefer iron sights, just because you don't have to adjust them much. You don't, no batteries, nothing like that. And I, I don't know, I just like iron sights a little bit better. And I tend to see that sights get shot a lot in airsoft wars, especially CQB ones. And I, I just don't want to buy an expensive sight and then have it get shot and broken. There are protectors, but yeah. And here's the stock. This is a full stock version, so you can, it does take a... It doesn't come with a battery like any G&G &G does. And it's a... Uh, can hold up to any large type, basically. Anything large. Anything that will... You know, fit in one of these, you know, an M16 would fit in one of these. And then basically down here you have your fire selector all the way up for full. Semi is right there, and then you're safe. And then here's your magwell, which is very nice. It's uh, pretty sturdy, although you really do have to slam mags in there. It's kind of a rock mag style where you would have to elevate it to a certain position and then rock it in. So... Make sure you do really slam your mags in there to keep them nice and uh, nice sturdy so that they will not uh, come out during the war because that's the last thing you want to happen. And then your grip, finally, which is, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much. And the fire selector is ambidextrous, so, yeah, everything that you see on this side of the gun, you'll see on the other, except for the charging handle, you'll see on the other. And here is the... Um, Shell eject, 
And uh, basically, this is just what part comes back. It's part of the blowback. Not really that noticeable, but it makes it that much more cool and realistic. And it's just a great gun all around. And the polymer is very, very sturdy. I definitely would recommend this. Although, it does have a little bit of a flaw. The motor, I definitely would replace. I switched out this, my motor and my MP5 here, with my Echo One Rifleman motor. Uh... The Echo One has a nice, this M16 comes default with a pretty nice uh, motor, it, ha, it achieves a nice high rate of fire, but I don't know why, but this one comes with, it's an ultra torque, but it doesn't get a very high rate of fire, but the trigger response is really nice. So I just switched them, because um, I would rather this have a nice high rate of fire, and this have a nice trigger response, since I used that as a DMR, and this is more of a close range weapon. And it does take any standard G&G &G MX5. These are the only mags I really use in it, because I like these the best. I find that these work the best out of all of them. <clears throat> I definitely would recommend extra mags. As always, you can't have a gun without an extra mags, basically. I like the G&G &G MX5 mags that hold 40 rounds, a bit more realistic. And if you don't, remind, if you don't really mind reloading that much more often, they're great, and they work great, and they feed great. So, this is the G&G &G Mod 5, and uh, 5 out of 5, definitely. Or, yeah, 4.5 out of 5, because of the laser problems, really, and the motor. I would definitely get a different motor if you if you care that much, like I did. I would definitely recommend. I'd recommend a 9.6 volt battery as well. So, this is Spartacus Airsoft, and thank you guys.